Isn't she so pretty when she looks across the water? This series here, which is very different of when I went to Italy, it's a bit more surreal, a bit more, not dallyish, but a bit more uh, a story about people dealing with life. And that was more surreal period that I did for six years when I went to Florence. I spent some time in Florence and painted. Uh, it was beautiful, so it's my favourite. So. You've been? You've been, yeah? yeah it's, uh, you like it? It's a beautiful place. Um, so, and I've been to Venice, obviously because you're in Italy, I went, I went down to Rome as well, uh, which is a dirty city, but be beautiful buildings. Yeah, they it, it dusty, it reminds me of London a bit, really. Uh, you're still busy in the traffic, um, it's all speeding past you. But, you've got your Sistine Chapel and you've got your Vatican there, obviously. Um, that's beautiful to see. Now that one there, it took me about three months to paint, and it's painted in thin glazes in acrylic paint, which is a water base, well you can use it with turps, but it dries quickly, so you're not waiting, like oil, you're not waiting ages for it to dry, I've sat down, it's okay to touch it though, <coughs> and, uh, I'll just try and get to, just do some of the cap stuff, tell us some of the, some of the mediums you use John, Sorry? tell us about some of the mediums that you use, oh right, uh, because these, these are these, what are these pencil drawings, uh, that's okay. charcoal, and then charcoal. it's, um, <laughs> Uh, uh, sprayed mm -hmm. with uh, uh, fixative. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I'll use. Um, just go back on that. That's a good point, actually. Yeah. That's charcoal. Yeah. Yeah. That's this acrylic. Is, is so, acrylic is more like a. Uh, you can use it as a watercolour or as an oil. So, you can mix turps with yeah. it and, yeah. and get a very. Uh, it's painted very thin as well. So, it's not painted very splashed on. And the reason for that is two reasons. One, it's like glass, it will last a lot longer. So traditionally, if you're looking at a Rembrandt, or you're looking at a uh, Albert Dura, or you're looking at something else, uh, that's traditional. The ones that are very thinly painted have been done with transparent washes, building up um, uh, uh, your layers of paint. A bit like you're going to do, is anyone do French polishing? Or, no. Well, it's that type of thing where you put a layer on and let it dry and put another. And if you build them up very slowly, a lot of people can't be bothered to do that because they'll be more bothered about the expression they're doing more than how long it's going to last. But I used to be very bothered about things like that. Hi, I, I, I didn't know that was you. Yeah. So, <laughs> John Kent's going off his picture. So, yes. so um, something like that's charcoal. So something like that I'll smudge. I'll use my fingers. I'll sketch it out. Uh, they're good, aren't they? Uh, well, it's not everyone's good, but I mean, that's, that's good actually. It's good that, that's my father who sat for me. Um, and just a quick pastel of him, but he was a man of few words with that. I take off my mum and I'm more uh, sociable, really. Right. My dad was sociable, but he, he was, he was, he said a lot less. My me, me dad wouldn't say much, so when he was alive, I, I drew that. I went up to Manchester and I said, would you sit? And he said, no. Why do you want to paint me? I said, well, you're my dad, and I said, I've done loads of things in my life, but I've not drawn yet. And he said, uh, he said, you to this a lot, 80 a day, with, he did his own roll-ups, but he smelled, uh, too much. Not much smell, my dad. He's a big smoke, and he used to just look at you like that. He wouldn't talk, he'd just look at him and go, he'd listen to you. And that's it. Like, a bit like the old school, you know, they it'd be, they'd mean what they say, but they wouldn't say much. Sometimes that's good, because you know where you stand with people. Is that acrylic? Is that it is, yeah, yeah, it is. It's acrylic, it like I've said, yeah. built up. Yeah. So something to keep the um, the vitality of the colour and the uh, exuberant sort of colours to get that type of effect, very flat, you've got to build up, as we were saying before, the layers. Oh, yeah. So it's, you've got to know your technique. But <laughs> you're saying, excuse me, you're saying that. So I've had a bit of a coffee over there. Took some honey and lemon. Uh, so... These circles, I'll explain in a minute how it tied in with something else when my father... Actually, it comes on to it quite well. Thanks for asking that, yeah. It is acrylic. Um, you can use acrylic like an oil, a big oil pick, so you can use it very thickly, mix it up almost like you're, like you're plastering a wall, and use it very thickly, like a big oil painting, or you can use it like that. The advantage of using it like that is you... That was painted 15 years ago. And that's as good as it the day I've finished it off. Because I've not stuck it in light. Have you, uh, you, you seen that? What, what are you painting it on? Uh, just on board. But I've, what I've done, a piece of hardboard, which is good enough, as long as you prepare it right. Get 
glue size then, glue, uh, cow's glue or, or a, a good glue, mix it up with a gesso primer, which is thin, which is a bit like um, a white pigment. It can dry very... Have you ever seen any of the pre-Raphaelites work? Uh, you do uh, Victorian ladies that are in um, uh, Rosetti, Holman Hunt, yeah. yeah. Well, that's the same technique, but it's more of a modern idea. Which is a very similar technique. The colours are very, you can see the colour, can't you? That's a really deep yeah. blue. But with so, did you do a whole wash on the back? Did you no, 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 that's a very good thing with asking. Yeah, that's yeah, another good technique. Um, I drew it out in pencil, painted it all white first, yeah. let it dry. Mm. Painted it white again, let it dry. Painted it white again, let it dry, let it white again. Did it ten times. Mm, well so, when it's dry over the four days, the moment you put the colour on, the vividness of the colour will come through. Because as like Leonardo said in his notebooks, light travels through and bounces back. Because he was a scientist. Really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so if you put on light, it's like you putting a very light top on, uh, something that's uh, opaque or something yeah. transparent. You can do that with a scarf, actually. Okay. Scarf. Got some biscuits you on can the see the colours through the scarf and pick up the, the thing. And it might be something that you're wearing you want a lot, uh, highlight. So it could be a nice chain or something personal someone's give you that you like wearing. When you put these, it's the same technique. Now all the people say, what are you talking about there? Are you talking about art? Are you talking about, no, I'm talking about everything. I'm talking about lots of different things that are interesting, that I connect in my way. Like you connect in your way. If you're doing some crochet or you're doing some, making a stool, that make, make, make some beautiful things there. Um, it's about your process. So that technique, yeah, you paint it, let it dry for two, three days, and then while it's wet, just slightly, slightly wet, <coughs> put the colours on. So when they fix, it's because all that's doing is bouncing back at the white I painted so much and bouncing off. That's why the colours are vivid. So you've got a cerise here. You've got all the other colours that are coming out and it's as good as the day on colour anyway, even if you don't like the image. My mum can't stand this, do you? She don't like them type of pictures. She said they're weird and I don't understand them and they're all to do with our ideas and she said some look dead sad so I don't like some and some look surreal like a carnival. Uh, some, but I had to do that because I went through a phase of doing it. This, but I will just get back to that quickly. The portrait of my father when he sat, he wouldn't, he said I can't stand still, John. I said I smoke all the time. I said, well, it don't matter that. Sit down, and if you have breaks every ten minutes, because oh, you don't stay still. Uh, and <laughs> well, yeah, I get some cigarettes, sit down for ten minutes, have a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> well, they wouldn't. It was funny like that. Really they said, um, no, no. He said, as long as I can move around and have a, 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 one of my cigarettes strong. I said, OK. That was the deal. So I sketched him. And I did 18 sketches before I did that. 18 quick ink drawings, like Rembrandt said. Work small and then draw larger. The smaller you do it, you've got to be more accurate now. If you get a sl if you're doing a head that big quickly, you'll finish it quicker because it's smaller. But so that's the advantage of capturing things that you see about people. The problem is when you draw things very small. Uh, if you're slightly out on an eye by about that much, it doesn't look like the person. So you've got to be accurate and you know, smaller. Rembrandt talks about this to do with size and how you draw things. So. Um, anyway, uh, so I did some sketches of it. I went away, I've got some more I was going to bring, but there's enough here to see today. And I'll round up in a minute and we can all have a bit. The, um, it's lots of seconds sometimes. The, why I did, why I did him like that? Because my mum said, you've not finished his face off. I said, I know. I didn't know me dad. I didn't know me dad. He didn't, I knew him in a way, but he was so quiet and... Like I said, he'd look at you and go, yeah, not your own. Thought a lot, but wouldn't, he wouldn't show... Um, I think he was keeping things back from how I felt he'd let my mum down on how... when I, I described how our earlier life was. And it was a good, there was a lot of good in me, that lot. Of, very kind person, he'd, he'd help anyone. But um, he was very... Uh, it's a bit like the old school, because I've talked to all the builders about this, and they said, oh, my dad, said, half of them were like that, John. They said, they, 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 there was a lot of jobs in the 60s, and they'd go off one job. He said, so they seemed to travel around doing what they were doing, and um, it was hard on my mum. But my mum got on with things. Mum didn't really say much. She never called me that, ever. She said things like, um, get on with 
uh, what you're doing, son, and uh, just make sure you're doing things you love doing and work hard, and uh, that sort of philosophy. Um, so where did you get all your talent from? Well, my dad, I was saying earlier yeah. on, my dad did draw, but because I, I don't, my mum says it's a gift, really, from God and things like that, because she's a bit more religious. Um, I think that you can only do a certain point in your life with anything you do, running, oh, tennis, oh, anything really. Like um, uh, caring about people, some people are amazing talents for caring, uh, great nurses or just great caring people. And my mum said, your great grandma in Ashton Hill Road, which is where my grandma came from, some, near a picture house somewhere, but off Ashton Hill Road, she said, that, she said that's where because she was very much, she'd help anyone on the doorstep, we used to come for, she was a midwife as well. Um, so she did, she said, she thinks that she's got it from, from the other side of the family. It's a bit of a good, but she said, you've got some of it obviously from your dad. But she said, I don't really think, I'm not sure if you've got it from any of us, it's just something that you've always been, enjoyed. So, on the portrait of my father, I sketched him, and I wanted to show on the other side. I'll pass that round for you. But uh, just be, it is sprayed, so it's, it has been fixed. So um, just handle it at the edges. If I've not shown that, for and that's a, a pastel. That's just pastel, chalk. That's it, and um, uh, that's it. Just pastel and chalk. I sketched it out on a dark background, and then I picked. So it was not black. It was like a mid. Brownie Gray.